So people build infrastructure, but great people change societies and how societies behave. Ten years ago, India meant open defecation. Foreigners come, we have to look down in shame. So, Irozu Manamu, Oka Samajamla Marputachanena, Oka Gopa Vektante, Mana Pradhan Mantri Modi Garu. You know, infrastructure project Chesaru, Kani Ina Gauravam mentioned, Atma Gauram mentioned, Nisangane, Mana Telugu Bashan Gud Marshindu, Intak Mundu, Yorana, Gain Ekarwa in Dianta, Baitiko in Dantamu, Kanipudu, Ipudu, I Nekarwa in Dianta, Bathroom Matter. Sir, the word bathroom has now become a Telugu word, sir. They proudly say, I have a bathroom Vainani. Sir, he increased the self worth, the self dignity, and of the poor children, not because they don't know, because they did not have access to bathrooms, sir. And this, I'm very proud of, sir, that our government achieved this. Where last 60 years, we had to, we had to bow down our heads in shame that such an advanced country, we still had open defecation. Almost in our state, sir, it's almost 90% open defecation free. Regarding our farmers, sir, just in my state, Telangana, 29 lakh farmers get 6,000 rupees under Kisan Sanman Nidhi, sir. MNRIG scheme, sir. Of course, it is started by the previous UPA government, and we are happy. They did some good things too, but we continued it, sir. What was happening under MNRG scheme? Ten years ago, rupees 150 rupees per day for the labor, sir. Now, they talk about petrol price increase, but look at the MNRG increase. 100% increase is 300 rupees today, sir. But it's not just the 300 rupees, sir. Before that 150 rupees, they had to pay 50 rupees rishwat and get 90 or 100 rupees. Now every penny of the 300 rupees is going into their account, sir. Raitulaku fertilizer subsidy, sir. Tombai Shatamu, Kevulamu Ronduandala Debai Rupal Petale, Yuria Bastaku, Lekunda DAP Bastaku. Today, not only these crops are growing, it's because of the, especially in Telangana, we don't have canals, sir. It is because of the current being supplied to the pubs, sir. Today, India has become almost self sufficient. Gone are the days of power cuts. With power sector reforms, operational efficiency, plant load factors of even NTPC and government increasing beyond 90%, sir. It has increased beyond European and American plant load factors, sir. And because of this, we, our farmers, are getting electricity to pump the water, sir. The banking sector, sir, it, in 2014, it was bankrupt. It was in doldrums, strict discipline, recognizing unrecoverable loans as unrecoverable loans and not hiding them under NPAs like the previous government did, calling spade a spade and willful defaulters, willful defaulters. And you've seen the people who have took loans from the previous government and now fled the country, sir. And this again is false propaganda against us. You have written off loans. We have not written off loans, sir. These are unrepayable, unrecoverable loans given by the previous government. We had the courage to say these are unrecoverable and wrote off. And because of this and other reforms, the banking sector turned around, sir. We, today the banks, especially the public sector banks, the State Bank of India profits is bigger than the Reliance Industries profit today, sir. Something that was unimaginable. But what are they doing with this money, sir? They are doing it responsibly. Responsibly, they are giving it to those who need it. Whether it's a big industry or the Mudra loans or the Vishwakarma Yojana loans. And these, somebody today said, sir, the gentleman is not here from the opposition. He was telling Vishwakarma Yojana, he was associating with Hindu religion and caste. A Raja, A Raja. He was telling, he was associating Vishwakarma Yojana to Hindu religion and caste. Sir, I think 
the honorable member is not aware or not well read on this even a muslim even a christian can become a carpenter and tomorrow his son can become a goldsmith or anybody who works with his hands sir and that is the greatness of this vishwakarma yojana sir sir it's not just the psu bank sir so 10 years ago if someone wanted to make money in the stock market they would have invested in wipro infosys and uh, tcs today sir the share market the psu banks not only the psu banks the state bank of india but also the psu company nalco bhcl oil india ongc hp these are all outperformed all the it companies sir and they have increased 300 folds so regarding northeast sir everyone was raising the point sir today i am proud to say sir northeast is connected hardly we used to see any gent anyone from northeast in hyderabad or delhi or bombay they are more than 10000 youth from northeast sir from all communities nagas kookies methis people from maharashtra uh, from mizoram and meghalaya we see them in hyderabad bangalore delhi sir and they are all indians sir they are connected they work in india sir otherwise northeast was isolated today what never happened in 60 years whether it's the roads or the bridges or the highways it happened under this government sir the airports and the talk is about recent not the development but as a recent violence sir in northeast manipur in particular the ethnic violence is very painful to all of us sir more than 200 died but who is the root cause of this sir has the demographic not been changed sir recent elections you see the polled votes or the registered voters in some ethnic groups they have increased by 50% in just one term sir in 5 years many groups they increase 75% how did this happen sir when is a voter is 18 did 18 years ago this ethnic group decided to increase their fertility rate suddenly no sir we did not have a border in 60 years sir there is imports there's insurgencies and they are crossing the borders that's the only way possible that the electoral rolls would have increased by 50% or 75% sir and yes at a time like this the nation has to come together and not do petty politics it is unfortunately sir the leader of the opposition has gone there they have accused us they said none of the prime minister has not gone they have forgotten sir in northeast there were riots there was a blockade the indian army or indian air force was ordered to bomb and strafe and 2000 people died sir we heard about operation blue star in punjab but this was much before another operation blue star in in mizoram sir who did it happen sir shame shame did they forget sir the fake encounter deaths almost 2000 did they forget the longest hunger strike by airom sharmila sir and manipur according to them probably had golden days sir i think they are referring to the golden triangle of opium trade and they are thinking that is the golden days of manipur sir really i think indians everybody whether they are methis or cookies they are our indians sir they are our people sir they are not chinese sir one of the overseas leader said northeast people are like chinese and they said our south indian people are like africans so to us all of us are indian sir all of us are indian sir you don't look like african sir you look like my brother south indian brother sir so so indian cookies are indian cookies sir not the insurgent but they want to use them as brownie points sir sir recently we went through elections sir one of the largest elections in any democratic country lacks of polling booths and evm and if one or five or 10 polling booths there was booth capture or the evm malfunction do you think what do we do sir we have re elections there we don't call the whole elections farce and say we'll have a entire lok sabha re elections for the entire country sir i'm talking about need sir they want to they discuss need sir neet is not a systemic yes, failure sir in some of the centers four or five centers kindly there was so it's only in the four or five centers 
that we need to re-examine, and the Supreme Court is re-examining this, sir. But they, on the other hand, instead of supporting the process which is being conducted by the courts, the high courts and the Supreme Court, they are actually adding confusion Kindly and playing confused. with the lives of the people, sir. Just five minutes, sir. And the Supreme Court, or the, uh, the, uh, the co high court order, the counseling should go on. And, uh, but what are they doing, sir? We have seen this Anushri Patel, uh, Ayushri Patel, a fraudster who supposedly have invented the COVID vaccine. She complained, saying that my o OMR, OMR sheets are torn, and they went to court. And what did the court find? They repro NTA reproduced the OMR courts. And for that, one of the Congress leaders from the Congress first family supported that lady. Now it is proven in court, and this fraud is proven, sir. They are only, they, they are only adding file to fewer. And uh, you are supporting that. You are supporting that Anushri fraudster. We are supporting the Supreme Court and the High Court. We go by the High Courts and Supreme Courts. That is what. Listen to what the Allahabad High Court said in both these cases and see the counseling is alive. <laughs>